So hi, Libra. Welcome back to Silky Intuitive. So we want a goddess guidance energy. Ooh, well that one wanted to come out. And that is expect a miracle from Mother Mary. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And it doesn't have to be Mother Mary. Just have faith that something good may be coming your way. Positive. It says here, expect a miracle. Maybe somebody needs one right now. Now, in the Oracle book, we have the Fool card. Reminds you that anything is possible. Now, that's quite a message, right? We not only have expecting a miracle, but we're trusting the Fool that anything can happen here. Anything at all. Okay, Libra, what's, uh, what are we talking about? Now, if you're walking, watching over at uh, my YouTube channel, this is your general life reading uh, for the 7th through the 14th of October. And um, Vimeo is going to be your focused love reading. Now, I need six cards down. The King of Cups keeps coming up. And he's here again. All right. There he is. Ah, uh, that's something incredibly emotional. Emotional. Or uh, someone coming into your life could talk about your own partner. The Ten of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. I'm going to call the Knight of Swords more hasty energy than anything. It feels like for someone uh, they just you, you're at a gathering and you meet the guy or the girl. The perfect one. It's like you turn around to order a drink and they're standing there next to you. I say drink because look at all the cups I have here. So you're at a bar. You're associating with friends. You're with family. Maybe you were, you're at a party or a wedding. And someone just comes out of the blue. And he makes it all happen. Or she does. That can always be a message to beware. That what, with especially next to the Seven of Cups. That what you see may not be all there is. Because there's some illusion. But boy, you are hit by Cupid's arrows. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, Libra. Uh, the love you are seeking is at your side. And even though it feels like there may be some things about this person that at some point you're going to need to know, I think there's a level of success about them. I think they're incredibly skilled. They feel like they're a dream. It feels like you're standing next to a living dream. That's the only way I can explain the feeling that I'm getting. You turn around and there's this magnificent human being standing next to you that frankly, I think might just take your breath away. I... It's just that pure and simple. The miracle and the fact that anything is possible to me tells me an awful lot about this reading for someone. Oh, get ready to walk right into a dream someone. I wish you all well with this one. We'd all like to meet a dream, wouldn't we? For Libra, it's going to be just that simple. The Knight of Cups again. Wowee. Unbelievable. The Wheel of Fortune. This person is your karmic destiny. And the Six of Swords, you can expect movement with this person. Maybe travel. Maybe the opportunity to even see the world. To start a new cycle in your life. Because this one feels very fortunate for those of you who are meeting a new love. This has to be somebody new. 
the joy, the the pro the, the prosperous feeling of the love is too big for me. The Four of Cups, the opportunity, and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to say this is probably for somebody who's a single. You may be involved with someone already. That's why the Tower is here. That's why the Four of Cups is here. Beware. Maybe that's the thing that you're not supposed to know about them. Is maybe they already have a partner. It doesn't matter. This place, this place and time to you feels fortunate. Because even though you may be leaving alone at the end of that party or the end of that event, this person has left a mark on you in one way or another. You may have to refuse their first proposal because maybe you are engaged with someone else. Uh-oh. At the bottom, the devil. Now, I'm going to say this person may be a Capricorn. Yay. That tells me they're stable. They come with their amount of baggage, but basically, they're decent people. Devil gets a bad rap. In this situation. Not always. But the devil gets a bad rap. Mostly where Capricorn is talked about. But we also have to look at the flip side of the devil. We have to look at the possibility that you may be looking at a problem. And maybe it's a jealous partner. Maybe it's a current jealous partner. Is this new person asking you to rethink your current relationship? Is that what the challenge is here? Maybe you are tied to a relationship or you feel chained to a marriage and this person feels just so right to you. They feel so absolutely positively right for you. But I have to I have to ask you, are you going to leave your situation? Are you going to leave a family situation, maybe, to pursue this person who appears out of nowhere and really takes command of your heart, takes command of your emotion? There's a lot of things here that need to be talked about, that need to be exposed. There's some sense of illusion here that maybe you're not seeing everything for what it really is. And maybe part of your struggle is the fact that you feel chained to a current relationship or they are themselves tied to a agreement, a spousal <laughs> agreement of some kind that they're bound to or they feel bound to and unable to move. I think what you're struggling with this week is either dealing with ending your own situation or maybe, possibly, waiting for that person to decide whether or not they're going to end their own situation. Feels like a heavy situation for whoever this is for. Mother Mary says expect a miracle and anything is possible. Keep yourself open if this is the way you're really wanting this. Maybe you're in a negative situation and you're needing to release, to come out of that so that you can embrace new love again. Maybe that's the struggle you're having here. But in whatever way, it's really up to you. How do you wish to move through it, challenge it, deal with it? And that's what I've got for you for this week. I wish you well, Libra. Uh, I'm going to go and do a love reading meant just for you. And hopefully we get a different outcome with that. Uh, yeah, Vimeo. You can find that. The love reading. Um, if you want to reach me, if this 
made sense to you and you would like to expand or you'd like to look at your own life situation, reach out to me. Uh, I will get back to you. Send me an email or get a hold of me through my contact form. And um, until next time, I guess that's about it. I don't know what to say about this. I don't know what to say about this. Try to be as clear of mind as you can. The Six of Swords, the real advice with the Six of Swords is let's try to be as clear of mind as we can. Knight of Swords, again, is hasty movement. And maybe this is saying, let's just let things take its natural course and not force anything, at least at this time. I hope that helps you guys. Uh, take care. Um, Libra, be well this week. I'm going to go do your love reading now. Thanks. Peace.